Hello, and thank you for your interest in the Science from the Sky curriculum. I'm Laura Norton, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the program, explain what materials are included, and demo a lesson activity. Let's get started. These materials were produced by Florida Atlantic University Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute, which is located in Fort Pierce, Florida. 2021 marks our 50th anniversary, and today we have about 300 researchers, students, and staff. At Harbor Branch, our mission is ocean science for a better world. Since 1971, we have focused on various research areas, including marine biomedical and biotechnology, marine ecosystem conservation, aquaculture innovation, ocean exploration and technology, and outreach and education. As part of our outreach efforts, we strive to share our scientist research with the public through our visitor center, campus tours, lectures, and more. One way that we are sharing our research is through a curriculum that brings ocean research and expertise to high school classrooms. This material is unique because it gives students a chance to work with real world data during activities that relate back to the lesson topic. The purpose of this curriculum is to educate the next generation on the importance of the ocean through the lens of a satellite. Satellites are useful tools that scientists have used for research and security since the mid 50s. Satellites can be used for communication, ecosystem monitoring, world mapping, and more. The Harbor Branch Remote Sensing Lab focuses on the use of satellites to monitor harmful algal bloom events so that they can keep our communities safe. One satellite that they use often is the Copernicus Sentinel-2, which has taken millions of high-resolution photos since 2015. Our Remote Sensing Lab uses these high-resolution images to understand water quality and dynamics of coastal areas. Dr. Tim Moore, pictured here, is one of the lead researchers in the Remote Sensing Lab. He offered his expertise to this curriculum and developed many of the lesson activities. One of the tools that Dr. Moore uses is an online modeling program built by NASA called Giovanni. Giovanni specializes in quickly compiling large amounts of data into easy to read maps. Through this curriculum, we are handing this powerful tool to your students. They will be using this program for three of the lesson activities. Giovanni can be a bit overwhelming when you first start using it. So we have created a Giovanni user guide to help you get started. This guide is included in the curriculum bundle. By experiencing this process for themselves, we hope students will have a better understanding of how satellites, the ocean, and people are connected. The five marine science lessons include step-by-step -step tutorials on how to access, use, and interpret NASA satellite data. Lesson one is an introductory lesson. Lesson two covers ocean currents and upwelling. Lesson three dives into productivity. Lesson four compares interannual variability, El Nino and La Nina. And finally, lesson five analyzes harmful algal blooms. The five lessons integrate many topics, including oceanography, astronomy, earth science, biology, math, physics, and more. For each lesson, you will receive a lesson plan with additional discussion questions and resources, the relevant standards, and vocabulary. We are also providing a lesson PowerPoint to help you present this information to your class, which includes activities using real world data. To teach these lessons, you will need a computer and projection device to display the lesson PowerPoint. We recommend that you also have access to Wi-Fi and that students have access to computers for the activity. Now I am going to show you some of the materials for lesson two and demonstrate the activity. As I mentioned before, there are five lessons, but I chose this one because the activity is a great introduction to Giovanni. This is the lesson plan for lesson two, which is about currents and sea surface temperature. The relevant standards are listed here. The key vocabulary words are listed here and bolded throughout the text. After you give the lesson, you can refer to these questions for a class discussion. When you are ready to dive into the activity, you can use these instructions. These questions go along with the activity and the answers are at the end of the lesson plan. Jumping into the PowerPoint, this is what you will see. We have put notes in the notes section for each slide for you to use if you would like. 
These notes correspond to the text in the lesson plan. The first part of the PowerPoint is the background information. In lesson two, we cover ocean currents near Florida and around the world. The following slides show a sample of what you will see in this background section. This slide is showing how air and water is moved around the world following the second law of thermodynamics. Here we are seeing how the loop current in Gulf Stream influence the waters around Florida. The Gulf Stream is part of the ocean conveyor belt, which connects all of the oceans in the world. At the end of the background information is a TED-Ed video that reiterates everything for the students in a fun way. This video is embedded into the PowerPoint, but you will need Wi-Fi to play it. The link to this video on YouTube is in the lesson plan under resources within the PowerPoint. The next section of the presentation is the class discussion. We imagine this would be a class-wide conversation, but you could also have the students divide into breakout groups or send these questions home as homework. This is an example of a discussion question. For many questions, the class answers may vary, but we have provided answers below. Now that the students have learned about the lesson topic, they will use real-world satellite data to demonstrate the concepts and answer questions. These activities span from mapping global trends to harmful algal blooms. I chose this activity because it's a great introduction to the features of Giovanni. Refer to the Giovanni user guide to help you get started with the application. Even though we have created the step-by-step -step instructions for the lessons, the Giovanni applications are endless. After you are familiar with the program, you and your students will have the background knowledge needed to create additional maps that are tailored to other data sets so that you can dive deeper into even more topics. The concept of this activity is to create an animated map that clearly shows the loop current and the Gulf Stream over a year using sea surface temperature. We set this up so that you can teach the activity a few different ways depending on what works best for your class. The first way is to log on to the Giovanni website and use the instructions in the lesson plan to complete the activity from your computer for your class to see. If your students have laptops, they could also follow along and complete the activity on their own computer. If you decide to teach this way, the computer science standards in the Dive Deeper section will be met. If you really want to challenge your students, you could ask them to complete the activity in breakout groups or as homework. This will also meet the computer science standards in the Dive Deeper section. If these options don't work for your class, then you can watch the activity being completed by clicking through the slides at the end of each PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to complete this activity using my Giovanni account, and I'll follow the instructions on the lesson plan to guide my selections. After logging in, click on Select Plot and choose Animation from the drop-down menu. Select January 1st, 2016 to December 31st, 2016 for the date range. Copy and paste the coordinates from the lesson plan here. We are going to be mapping sea surface temperature, which can be found under measurements. Select the variable sea surface temperature at 11 microns. After all of the selections are done, click on the green plot data button. The animation may take a few minutes to populate. Notice the labels at the top of the animation window. This is showing that the data was taken by the MODESA satellite, which measured sea surface temperature. The data has been averaged over eight days and has a spatial resolution of four kilometers. Here, you can double check that the dates are correct. This is the animated map from Giovanni that we have loaded into PowerPoint. When you play this animation, you will see the time scale is labeled on the upper left hand side of the screen. This animation is showing water temperature. The yellow is cool water and the red is hot water. You may want to play this animation a few times before moving on to the activity questions.
This discussion slide walks students to the answers to the activity questions. Question one, where does warm water enter the Gulf Stream? From the Caribbean Sea. Where does the loop current flow? The loop current flows into the Gulf of Mexico around Florida and flows into the Gulf Stream. Question three, what month is the sea surface temperature the warmest? The answer is August. Each lesson is wrapped up with a conclusion slide. At the end of lesson two, we emphasize that sea surface temperature changes over time and by location, and that currents circulate water, heat, and nutrients all around the world. In summary, Florida is on the front line of environmental change and we need to educate the next generation to become good stewards of the natural world. To aid in this and to share the work being done at FAU Harbor Branch, we have developed five lessons with activities plus a Giovanni user guide. These lessons cover a variety of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math topics. This is the first time we have developed guidance on how to use real world data using Giovanni. We have designed these activities to be used either consecutively or individually, so we hope they fit your needs. Thank you for watching this introduction video. Please visit our website for more information and for other classroom resources. After you use the Science from the Sky curriculum, please use this QR code to give us feedback. Your review will help us improve future materials. Thank you to the Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute Foundation for funding this project. Also, thank you to C. Palms and the Florida Department of Education for reviewing and approving this curriculum.